Preview. We're here on the banks of the Mississippi River, just north of New Orleans, where reports are that a marine vessel has struck a submerged pipeline. Details are sketchy at this point, and the investigation is ongoing, but preliminary reports indicate that the vessel struck the pipeline while dropping anchor. There's no report yet on the extent of the pipeline damage, whether all vessel crew members are accounted for, or information on the volume of oil spilled. Port of South Louisiana response vessels are on site conducting search and rescue operations and managing river traffic control. And we've been told that the U.S. Coast Guard vessels are en route. The Louisiana State Police have responded and will be conducting interviews with the vessel crew members. The response is being directed from the Port of South Louisiana's Emergency Command Center, whose jurisdiction exceeds 54 river miles. More details as they become available. Back to you in the studio. Pipeline strikes are an all too frequent occurrence, causing loss of life, damage to property, and immense harm to the environment. The threat of striking a submerged pipeline is one that all mariners face, and statistics illustrate the danger. In a 20-year period, 118 pipeline strikes were reported. These incidents resulted in 25 fatalities and 17 injuries. The environmental impact was devastating, with more than 100,000 barrels of oil spilled and property damage in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Sadly, all were incidents that could have been prevented. Pipelines are arteries that transfer crude oil and natural gas from wells on land and offshore to refineries and chemical plants, where it becomes fuel, chemicals, and other products used by every American each and every day. This pipeline infrastructure is critical to fueling America's industries and to our nation's prosperity. A map of the pipeline infrastructure shows the connection to more than 4,000 platforms and over 33,000 active wells in the Gulf of Mexico and Mississippi River region. It's a graphic example of the enormity of the network. Uh, the Port of South Louisiana has approximately 72 pipelines, uh, six major pipelines. We are the terminus for Loop Louisiana Offshore All Port, which handles approximately 500,000 barrels daily. And we are the origin of Cap Line, which handles approximately 800,000 barrels daily. Unfortunately, statistics show that third-party damage by marine vessels is among the most common causes of the pipeline industry's largest releases of hydrocarbon products. So if you operate a vessel, anytime you drop anchor, dredge, lay pipe, drive pilings, wheel wash, or jack down, basically anytime the water bottom is disturbed, you must have the proper permission required by state law through calling the free 811 clearance service. The, the dangers of a pipeline strike are, are a couple of different areas. First and foremost, it presents a hazard to the vessels that are in the area. You could have hazardous materials, flammable vapors in the area. It also obviously is a problem to the environment. This is an extremely ecologically sensitive area and any kind of oil or hazmat spill is very bad for the environment. So how do we prevent pipeline strikes? Well, that's the mission of CAMO. Coastal and Marine Operators is a partnership of more than 20 companies formed to educate the maritime community about pipeline strikes and spill prevention. CAMO pursues this outreach in several ways through working closely with pipeline companies and marine industry officials to identify and discuss issues and solutions, by distributing literature related to release and spill prevention, by conducting safety awareness meetings and seminars, and by participating in public service messages like this one. So the mission of CAMO is the protection of submerged infrastructure, infrastructure like pipelines that transport oil, products, natural gas, and chemicals. CAMO is promoting Louisiana One Call and the 811 free service. The 811 service actually helps you identify pipelines 
before you do your work. Here's how the One Call Notification System works. In State Waters, call 811 two days before you begin any operation or activity that contacts the water bottom. The One Call Center will notify the registered pipeline companies and other submerged infrastructure in the area. The pipeline company's personnel will contact you to discuss how your work can be performed safely. 811 works in all 50 states and within state marine boundaries. It's a free service, and remember, it's also the law. When you call, a ticket number will be issued for your activity. Use the ticket information for the coordination of your work or your voyage plan. Keep this number handy for use in any subsequent correspondence. It's very important for mariners on the Mississippi River to know where these pipelines are. Part of this means they need to have updated navigational charts that show where these pipelines are. It's important that commercial vessels anchor only in designated anchorages that are marked on these charts to avoid pipeline strikes from their anchors. And it's important for them to be aware of pipeline markings where these pipelines do cross the river so they can avoid potentially anchoring or having impact on those pipelines. Voyage planning would be very important to know the hazards and the causes of anything that could go wrong during a trip, during any time you would encounter an emergency situation. With our constant weather changing uh, and conditions on the river, especially fog and our, our hurricane system that come in and out during the summertime, we have to know exactly where the pipelines are on the river um, due to stoppages and closures. Ships will have to anchor um, abruptly and, and tows will have to push into the bank and uh, it's really important that we you know, know where all the pipelines are. But what if the unthinkable happens? If you hit a pipeline and any type of release occurs, regulations dictate that both state and federal agencies must be notified immediately. In Louisiana State Waters, the Louisiana State Police Hazmat Hotline should be called at 877-925-6595. All releases must be reported to the National Response Center at 800-424-8802. And even if there is no release, if you hit a pipeline, the law states that you must immediately notify the authorities and also the pipeline company owner or operator. Remember, even slight damage to a pipeline's outer surface can result in a future failure. Our jurisdiction is statewide. It includes all land and water. Uh, typically when an event happens on the water, we do work very closely with the Coast Guard. Our responsibility is to investigate the accident, find out why the product was spilled, and to find out if there's any negligence on anybody's part. The uh, Louisiana State Police Hotline, one-stop shop for all reporting hazardous material spills. When something happens in the state of Louisiana, you call the Louisiana State Police Hotline at 225-925-6595. An operator is gonna take the call and then dispatch it to either myself or one of my coworkers to respond. As a vessel operator, are you prepared? All mariners should know the signs that indicate a strike. A roaring or hissing sound, blowing water or continuous bubbling that may resemble wheel wash a gaseous hydrocarbon or other unusual odor, or liquid rainbow sheen on the surface of the water. Your vessel should have an emergency evacuation plan in place and life-saving devices readily available. You should also have in place procedures to quickly account for all crew members. Your action plan should include procedures to immediately minimize potential ignition sources like cell phones, motors, pumps, switches, cigarette lighters, and other potential sources of spark or flame. If you need to evacuate the vessel, move personnel to a safe location upwind or upriver as far as possible, at least one quarter of a mile. Do not attempt to extinguish a natural gas fire and follow all of the instructions in your vessel emergency plan or those of emergency responders. As the largest tonnage port in the Western Hemisphere, encompassing 54 miles of Mississippi River, spanning three Louisiana parishes, and receiving 4,000 deep draft vessels and 55,000 barges annually, the Port of South Louisiana is well positioned to respond to river emergencies. 
The port's mission is clear. The mission of the Port of South Louisiana is to promote maritime commerce, trade and development, and to establish public-private partnerships for the creation of intermodal terminals and industrial facilities. A significant part of that mission is spill prevention. The environmental consequences of a major spill on the lower Mississippi River could be devastating and the economic consequences severe. So any spill has huge economic and environmental consequences and safety consequences as well. But you know it also presents an economic problem because often what we have to do after an oil or hazmat spill from a pipeline is we have to close down the waterway until we can get the source of the spill secured and we can get it cleaned up. This is a very vibrant and active waterway. It's an economic engine to the region and the country. And if we have to shut down the waterway, that could present a lot of economic damage. The Port of South Louisiana is the largest tonnage port in the Western Hemisphere, the lar largest port in the United States. It would, uh, it would affect the U.S. economy by approximately $300 million per day. In order to respond to emergencies within its jurisdiction, the Port of South Louisiana is equipped with three response vessels. The John James Charles with 3,500 GPM capacity, the Port Support Vessel Accardo with 1,500 GPM capacity, and the PSV Responder with C4 capacity. The Port also employs a rigid hull boat for search and rescue. Located within the Port Administration Building is a state-of-the-art Incident Command Center. Equipped with closed-circuit television cameras and satellite communications capabilities. The facility also includes accommodations for emergency first responders. Port personnel are highly trained professionals with years of experience in safety and emergency response scenarios. A pipeline strike is serious business. It can set in motion a series of events that endangers lives, risks damage to property, and has serious consequences for the environment. It can create enormous dangers to your crew and your vessel and expose your company to substantial liability issues. That's why each mariner should be aware that beneath the surface lies a vast and valuable infrastructure on which the entire nation depends. Protecting this infrastructure is as simple as a phone call to 811. If you have any questions about CAMO or need additional information about pipeline safety, please go to our website at www.camogroup.org. If you'd like to know more about the Port of South Louisiana, please go to www.portsl.com.